and welcome to another POSCatch.com product presentation. So glad you can come by today and check out another product with me. So today we are going to present the Pixelon BCD2000 customer display. Some folks call them pole displays too, but also customer displays is just fine. Either either way, there's no right or wrong way to, to, to name them. So what what is a customer display? Well, I think by now everybody should know what a customer display is. When you go into a store, you know, you go into a convenience store or wherever, and then your price or whatever you purchase, you'll see it on the display there. Okay, so that's what a customer display is. Even though it's oftentimes overlooked in a point of sale system setup, it is very important to have. Why is that? Well, number one, your customers get to see how much they're being charged and what um, and, and what it is, right? So because that data is being sent from the POS software. Number two, in a lot of states in, in America, uh, it's required by law. Uh, you're, so check with your local statutes because many states, many municipalities require you as a retailer to have a customer display so the customer can see how much they're being charged per transaction. Okay, so there are many different pole displays out there on the market today, but I got to tell you, this Bixalon pole display, I like it. And why? Well, number one, I like the way it looks. Number two, it's extremely, extremely value priced. I'll tell you the price later. And number three, it's by Bixalon. Uh, you know, they are a Korean company, South Korean company that got some really good product. Okay, top of the line products manufactured in Korea uh, we can get into a little bit detail about that later but I, I tell you what let's do a deeper dive into what the product looks like and uh, I'll show you here j j just a second okay so here is a close-up view of the Bixlon BCD 2000 pole display so as you can see uh, I like its form factor and also uh, it has a telescopic uh, pole here. So 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 what does that mean? Well, what that means is you can adjust its height here let, let me show you here in just a second hold on. So what you can do is is you can adjust its height like this see it goes up It's so they call that the telescopic So it goes up and down you just simply loosen this part right here Okay, and then it's able to go up and down. So uh, here's the base Okay, not much to that. Okay, you can also put your USB this is a USB version by the way this is available in USB and serial and this is the USB model okay and then underneath here under the head itself you have let's see if I can position this right there's your on off switch right there okay and then in the back you have this panel that you can pull off. Here, let me get this here. And in there are your dip switch settings. Sometimes, you, depending on your POS software, what the, the, they call the command sets to go to the pole display, uh, sometimes you got to change the dip switch settings in here that matches with your with your POS software. Okay. Speaking of POS software, this would be compatible with, with just about any POS software program out there on the market. And why is that? Well, because this particular one is USB, so it's virtually plug and play. And it, it, it has, it's able to uh, display all of the popular command sets or command language. Uh, so basically within the point of sale industry, that this means that uh, it can do logic controls emulation or Epson emulation. So basically, I, this will work with most of your POS software program that's out there. Okay, so here I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it on so you can see the display. I actually like the display because it has that really uh, bl uh, cool blue look to it. So here, let me just turn this on here. Okay, and then there's of course the blinking cursor. It's like saying, hello world, hello world. Go ahead and give me some data. Okay, and so then of course that's how you have it right there. Now, I again I like the telescopic design. Depending on the the, the setup for your for your um, POS system and the configuration at the cash wrap. 
But uh, again, this is, I think it's a great customer display for the price and the value that it offers you. See here, so let's do a little bit of a deeper dive on the price. So hold on just a second. Okay, so here we go right here. So this is the product page uh, right here for the Bixalon BCD2000 on the POScatch.com website. And as you can see, uh, currently as of uh, June of 2023, this is the price right here. Now, depending on when you see this video, the price may go up or down. So please keep that in mind. But at the, the shooting of this video, the price is what you see highlighted right here. So uh this is where you can purchase it and then see here this is the usb option and then like i said this is the serial so be careful when you purchase this uh on your interface choose you got to use an interface that your point of cell software requires uh, you know a, a few years back serial uh interface was the most common but now USB is. But that said though, definitely check with your POS software provider to make sure that you're, um, you're getting the right interface that's uh, adequate for your, or I should say that's uh, compatible with your POS software. Okay, and then here we have all the, the, the different features, you know, the two character font, 360 degree uh, head rotation, right? 128 characters. It's of course, it's it's also wall mountable, and so forth. And the, and then here's the emulation. See, escape pause. That's that's um, that is uh, Epson, right? And uh, the UTC enhance, and then the PD6000. That would be uh, Logic Controls. Okay. Uh, so everything that you require uh, in a solid point of uh, point of sale pole display is in this Bixalon uh, BCD 2000 unit. Okay, so I think we're pretty much coming to the end of our presentation for this uh, Bixalon BCD 2000 pole display. I hope you enjoyed the, the quick review that we had of this product. Again, it's, it's a pole display. There's not a whole lot to it. It's a non-intelligent device. It just accepts incoming data just like a receipt printer would, okay? And it just displays it, and that's about what it does. However, again, it is a crucial a crucial component of your POS system, so don't overlook this. And again, because the state's municipalities in your area may require you to have that i believe most do okay so with that said though i just wanted to here before before i go i wanted to give a big shout out and say thank you to all of the repeat customers to poscatch.com we much much appreciate your business and if you haven't purchased from us yet hey stop on by poscatch.com We'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions, shoot us off an email or contact us on the chat. Uh, we can generally reply fairly quickly to uh, customers' questions. So with that said, thank you for stopping by. Much appreciated, and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye, everybody. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell below so you can receive notifications of any future POS hardware reviews that we will do for your business. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. We'll be posting new videos soon.